Hello YouTube, this is Matt of the Blue Bell Model Railway Channel. Uh, it's been a while since we've done an update on uh, rolling stock and uh, projects. Um, one particular project which hasn't been mentioned much recently is uh, the 3D printed project. Um, but it has appeared on the channel a couple of times, or will do, but this uh, video will probably precede those. Um, the 3D printed objects which uh, have been shown on the channel quite a long time ago now um, have now got to a point where they've been finished and painted and are now running reliably and have been tested fully um, to or the, the main items which we're doing or have been doing are the Metropolitan Coaches which I've joined up with uh, a good friend of mine now uh, Stephen who is uh, a 3D modeler and a 3D uh, printer person by nature. He uh, he's designed quite a few interesting uh, little bits and pieces in Engage, uh, which is why he's involved in the project to bring uh, some of these coaches in in, in Engage as well. So uh, if you like what you see here, it's possibly going to be in Engage as well in the future. Uh, the first item we're going to look at, uh, which was featured in that video a long time ago. Uh, is the GN Saloon uh, or Director's Saloon on the Bluebell Railway of course. Uh, this has been designed on um, Google SketchUp and has been improved and tweaked uh, through the months. Uh, we've got a decent print uh, just before January from uh, Shapeways. Uh, it's not yet looking to be on sale for quite a while because there are a few little bits we need to finish and tweak uh, but it will come to you very very soon. We have the chassis working well now and the body is actually looking quite quite decent. Um, anyway I'll just roll it in uh, now so you can have a look. Okay this is our GN Saloon. Uh, it has Hornby bogies underneath. Uh, it's fully detailed uh, handrails uh, and also door handles as well. Not sure if you can uh, see that on the uh, clip here. I'll just zoom in to get a few detailed shots for you. Uh, transfers on this model are HMRS press fix transfers. Uh, the glazing in the coach is just acetate sheet which is glued on with uh, a canopy glue uh, which you can get from uh, a few suppliers. Uh, the coupling system is actually a Hornby coupling system underneath which is uh, worked with a spring which uh, hooks over a, uh, a small hook on the underside of a chassis. Uh, the pipe work on the side of there you can see is just uh, 0.8mm brass wire which has been bent into shape. And we've got the little lamp iron hooks on the end here. And you can also see we've added some seats and interior inside which have been uh, uh, built up. Uh, you can see the roof vents also on the uh, top. Uh, the ones on the top lights are actually ratio uh, plastic. Uh, the ones just above the uh, loo there are uh, cast uh, torpedo vents. Then it runs very nicely. It's quite a light coach actually, uh, but it runs very nicely uh, with the Metropolitan set when uh, they are complete. I believe the coach will cost around about 40 to 50 pounds, uh, which I think is just about acceptable. I'll talk you through what it's printed out of. It's actually printed out of um, uh, white strong and flexible material, which is a laser sintered nylon powder, which has been built up in uh, layers. Uh, this is the cheapest material you can get from uh, 3D printers and that's why we've mainly chosen it. It has a slightly rough um, finish or texture to the outside, um, but 
that actually disappears once you've actually um, painted over it and primed it etc um, you can see the two uh, white windows in there as well or the opaque windows that has just been painted on the inside so uh, you can't see in you can also see on the underframe it has some brass uh, wire underneath as well for the uh, I think they're called truss truss rods or or truss braces I'll just uncouple it for you and we'll just uh, show you the underside of the actual coach you can see all the uh, individually individual boxes underneath I'll put the dyno on there or the generator for the power you can see the brake cylinders you can also see the coupling system there as, you, as I said it works exactly the same way as the Hornby system and has been designed around it and that just hooks on underneath and presses in and clips in as a normal Hornby model would now you can see the end here also using the Hornby three link couplings which go into the hole in the middle buffers are not sprung on this model they're just printed now you can see in there it's all fully glazed also got some tables in there as well I'll just flip around the, uh, the coach so you can see the other side Uh, but quite a nice coach. I know it's interested a few people uh, who've seen it on uh, other groups and forums, etc. Hopefully, we'll get this all finished and running to a reliable standard, which it has been recently. Uh, needs a little bit of weight adding to it, which uh, goes in the, in the middle of the uh, of the coach. Um, but that one uh, should be ready and on sale very very soon so we'll keep you updated on that one Okay, the next set of coaches uh, I'm about to show you, again, once again, 3D printed. Uh, this is what originally kicked off the project. These uh, are the Metropolitan coaches, uh, or the Met set, or the Ashbury set, or the Chesham set. Uh, used to run on the Chesham branch uh, up until the 1960s. Uh, all made of teak, uh, and usually seen in a set of three. Uh, the Blue Bear has a set of four, which uh, I think uh, an extra coach was added a little bit later on uh, before they went off to the Blue Bell. Um, and uh, as I said, we used to run on the Chesham branch of the London Underground, which is still going, and you never know, maybe they'll uh, turn up there a little bit later on in the year, maybe in August. Um, anyway, this is what originally started off the 3D printed um, project. Uh, as I sold my original set of four, which were sort of kit bashed ratio uh, kits, um, as I say, I joined up with uh, a guy who I met off uh, RM Web. Um, his name is Stephen. Also has a Facebook group called um, Tor TMD or Tor as in T A W E uh, TMD. Um, you can find him on Facebook, there's rather interesting posts about 3D printers and also what he's working on at the moment, um, doing 3D printing etc. He mainly does 2mm stuff, um, which obviously goes on N-Gage, and hopefully in the future you'll be able to uh, get hold of these coaches in N-Gage as well. Uh, I'll just pull them in now and we'll have a chat through them.
Okay. This is the break third and the all third. I'll just zoom in to take a couple of extra shots for you. Okay, the body is a one piece body, uh, which is printed in white, strong, and flexible again, so quite a cheap material. Uh, the roof fence on the top, uh, they are printed in frosted detail. Uh, which is not so not as expensive as some of the detail plastics they do, but I find it uh, does just just the same uh, in in terms of um, quality and detail. Uh, the bogies are one piece bogies, as you can see uh, we have NEM sockets on the end uh, end coaches. Uh, also, quite nice detail on them as well. These are fixed to the chassis, which is also in printed in white, strong, and flexible nylon. Um, this is fixed to the uh, chassis via a screw in the center. Uh, you can see once again we have all the uh, 3D printed under frame detail as well. Uh, the coach is a cuff board via a uh, draw bar system. A uh, piece of brass with two holes drilled in the ends uh, to couple the two coaches together. Uh, there is separately fitted uh, handrails on there as you can see. The handles of the doors are printed in situ. Uh, the bars across the windows are 5mm or 0.5 I should say, sorry, uh, mil brass wire. Uh, same for the handrails as well. Uh, also has uh, 3D printed seating inside as well, which slots in between the partitions. Uh, transfers are from Bradley Models. You can see on the end there just about, if I pull that forward in a minute, you can see the steps going up which is um, I think it's 0.3 mil uh, thick brass um, strip which you can buy from Eileen's Emporium. Uh, so there are slots in the end so you can put the actual steps in yourself. And also you can see the two jumper cables as well on the rear which are also uh, with the casts which are from Comet. Uh, it's painted in teak which you can get from Phoenix Paints. And uh, I think they look quite nice. They've also been uh, slightly weathered down a little bit with some uh, matte black paint. But I'll just show you in a little bit more detail a few close-ups of the brake and the uh, all third coaches. Okay, first we're going to have a look at the brake third coach a little bit more closely. Here's the underframe detail as you can see. We've got the two uh, tanks in the centre. We also got the battery boxes uh, behind, or either side I should say. Um, also have the uh, the cylinders as well, and the dyno. And the bogies are all single piece, fitted with uh, slightly larger wheels from Hornby. And you can see the NEM coupling just slots in the end there, uh, with the end trimmed off. Uh, the one on the end has no coupling at all, but you can choose if you wish to use the NEM coupling on the ends as well if you wish. Uh, on the end here you can see the two windows, and also the steps, as I mentioned before, these are just brass strip 0.4mm thick, and I think it's a 0.5mm wide, and they just go into slots in the uh, back. Uh, we've got the handrails at the side. On either side, this is just 0.5mm uh, wire. The jumper cables are from Comet, we can buy them from mainly trains. And you can see the little uh, screw link coupling as well, again that's a Hornby, uh, Hornby coupling. You can see the internals are painted uh, the same as well. Um, coming in a little bit closer, you can see all the transfers there. As I mentioned, there's a slight roughness to the, uh, the finish, but 
it's not as bad as what the camera makes out on some pictures. You can see all the brass uh, wire also bent into shape along the uh, the guard's uh, door there. And also along all the other doors as well as the passengers. I just turn it around so you can see the end here. You've got the jumper cable and the uh, connect the, the electrical connectors at the end as well, and the electrical boxes on the other side. You can see it's all fully glazed, and on the roof, you can see all the roof vents, which are in frosted detail as well. Uh, the rain strip here I've added from uh, plastic card strip. Oh, I think it's evergreen strip, I think they call themselves. And you can see all the details on the bogey on the sides, the springs, the rivets. I'll be a full write up on how uh, how each one is made or how one is made so you can get the gist of how to do it yourselves. I'll just push that to one along so you can see the all third now. Uh, this one's 394. Again, similar under frame. They're all the same sort of length chassis. Uh, this one was the first one we printed. Um, so this has quite a few uh, changes. As you can see on the bogey, we put some plastic card to help the wheels. Uh, these bogies were before they were modified. The ones on the brake are a lot stronger. You can short, uh, see the short style uh, buffers on this one. Also on the end as well. Uh, the back uh, the box on the back here was in the wrong place, but that's now been changed. You can see our uh, draw bar coupling here, which is just brass strip, uh, which goes around as you can see a little a little bit here, and then the screw will go on top to hold this in place so it won't fall out or drop off. Uh, once again, same again. This is all white, strong, and flexible and white strong and flexible on the chassis so cheapest materials you can get frosted detail on the bogies and frosted detail on the roof fence as well and you can see on the other end here uh, the Hornby uh, screw link coupling and also the Comet jumper cables again painted with Phoenix precision paints and Radley model transfers as well I use them very nicely uh, in their two car formation at the moment and uh, hopefully as I mentioned we'll add a couple more to the set in the not too distant future hopefully next month and hopefully the fourth um, the other composite in the month after that anyway I hope you enjoyed this uh, small video and small insight into 3D printing and uh, what we have soon to be on offer are these two met coaches which should be online and available in the next couple of days so wednesday hopefully and um they should be around about about 60 70 pound each per coach um occasionally i do give you um offers to get money off things so it's usually quite good to uh, keep an eye on the website uh shapeways website and uh order them when they have a 20% uh, off uh, um, offer on at the time um, but that's the price and there'll be a little bit more uh, information on uh, pricing and the strategy of it and uh, uh, they are available in single pieces so you can get a body shell or a chassis or the bogey separately and the uh, the roof fence separately so if you can only afford one bit at a time you can just do it that way uh, they're going to be available through Shapeways uh, you can also see it on my group as well on Facebook and on Twitter and various other places as well around the web uh, there'll be a link included in the uh, description box below so if anyone's interested give it a look and um, they'll be, it should be on sale by Wednesday. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and like this video if you like what you see. Please ask any questions if you have any questions. And I will try and get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, but that's it for now. And hopefully I'll see you on the next video, which will either be at the end of May 
or around the bank holiday time when uh, Rare Lex Exhibition is on in Ellsbury or Stoke Mandel, I think it is this year. And uh, anyway, hope you like the video and subscribe and like this video and uh, hopefully we'll see you again in the next one. Thank you.